Hello, welcome back, or if you're new, welcome just in general. My name is Lex and I really should be doing an assignment right now, but I'm doing this instead. So, I don't have much time because, you know, classic, I've been procrastinating <laughs> and I need to do an assignment this weekend. So I thought, what could I do? And then I came up with a very original idea of a chatty get ready with me only I'm already dressed and I have my hair done so basically it's just gonna be my face and I'm gonna tell some stories and that's gonna be the video so I hope you enjoy it I apologize in advance for the noises outside my window so the first step is what I strive to do every day but to be honest I don't manage to use it every day and also it's expensive for me anyway, so I don't want it to run out, so I save it for special occasions like this. So I'm going to use it today. This is the Lizelle Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. I also apologise for my neighbours because I'm in a student accommodation. So if you hear people like talking, it's, uh, it's my neighbours. Anyway. I am just going to put it on and then wipe it off with baby wipes. You know what, I'm, lim I'm on limited battery as well because I completely didn't plan this video. It's just, I, I'm basically just winging this video and um, I didn't charge my camera so it could just die any second now. Which is great because um, I've still got so much to do and I feel like I've put way too much on. So I'm just going to rub it in. I'm just going to wipe it off. I've been recording for 12 minutes and I haven't even put anything on my face yet. You know, because I'm an exchange student. I'm living in the university residences and everyone else who lives here is like first year so they're all younger than me and a lot more into partying than me they're all very excited because they've just left home so um Friday nights and Saturday nights are just crazy I keep my door locked and just <laughs> turn up my headphones and watch some Netflix. I mean, that's what kind of person I am. Now you know. So now we have a clear face. The first thing I do is concealer to conceal all my acne. If I miss major areas then oh well. Oops, I can't really see what I'm doing. And then I just use my finger to rub it in because I do not have a beauty blender. I can't see what I'm doing. I honestly can't see. I'm like trying to strain my eye over to that side. So I said this video was going to be a get ready with me and a story time. So I thought I would tell you some kind of embarrassing stories of what has happened to me during my study abroad year here in Canada. Because I have so many embarrassing stories just in general. But um, this one, I just realised I've got a mirror right here. Meanwhile. I'm going to put this uh, matte uh, like transparent powder just over my face to set it. I don't know. My first story comes from this week or last week. It was very recent. In the um, university residences, they provide your meals for you. So. Last week, or whatever day it was, the meal was a baked potato with either butter or sour cream and chives. 
and for starters in the UK we say jacket potato so I heard it in my head don't say jacket potato say baked potato because they won't know what you mean if you say can I have a jacket so I I already had that plan that bit out but it was still a disaster because I get there and I'm like can I have a potato with butter and she's just staring at me and bear in mind it's a very fast paced like line like a lineup of people it moves very fast that like you get there you need to know what you want because it's like you say it so quickly and they dish it up and you're gone because you've got hundreds of like students waiting in the line and they're all they're all listening to you and so you've got you've pretty much got an audience and it's pretty stressful me with my british accent I didn't think it would be a problem, but I just went up to the, the lady and I said Hello, can I have a jacket? No, I didn't say that. I said, hello, can I have a potato and butter, please? And she just stared at me and I was like, can I have a potato? And she understood that and I was like, yes, okay, I've got a potato on my plate. But um, the like standard thing which everyone was having on it was sour cream and chives to me that is just the weirdest food combination in the world like i did not want sour cream and chives on my jacket potato that is just wrong i mean show me the cheese and beans or at least just grated cheese because that is what really goes on a potato to be honest anyway so i'm like i don't want the sour cream and chives i've already said can i have butter and she looked at me and she just didn't say anything, she was just like... She was like, would you like sour cream and chives? And I said, no, just butter. And she was like, I'm sorry? I was like, just butter. And she still didn't get me. And then she put the potato back. And I was like, no, no, I want the potato. And she put it back up on my plate again and she said, do you want sour cream and chives? And I was like... No, just butter. And oh my goodness, she was so confused. And I was just thinking to myself, like, I was thinking, am I actually speaking English right now? Like, I was seriously doubting about if I was even English. Like, is something weird going on? Because I don't know why she doesn't know that I'm saying butter. And there was only three options. There was sour cream, chives, and butter. And I didn't want the sour cream and I didn't want the chives. So surely from a process of elimination she could have worked out that I wanted butter. You know? And this was just so embarrassing because the line was building up and the students were waiting and it was just oh, I had an audience and I was just repeating myself. Just butter. Can I have butter? 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 Um No, uh can I just have butter? And I was seriously, oh my goodness, that was so embarrassing. This was last week. And then she went through every piece of food, like option of food, and pointed to it. And I shook my head, I shook my head, until she pointed to the butter. And then I'm like, yes. And oh, that was so embarrassing. That was like being back at primary school when I was too shy to even talk, that I had to just nod my head when they pointed at things. I just had, I'm just having flashbacks to that, I mean. Oh my goodness, why? Why didn't she understand butter? If you're like American or Canadian, do I say butter in a hard to understand way? Or or not? Because I honestly thought I pronounced it in quite a clear way. I almost said to the lady, am I speaking English? But then I stopped myself because I thought that might be impolite. She just clearly, she just can't understand me. But who knew? Who knew that the way I say butter was so confusing? From now on, until I go home, I am not having butter and I'm definitely not asking for a jacket with butter because can you imagine? Oh my goodness. You'll notice I use the same brush for everything. The next thing that I usually do is my eyebrows and I got this in a recent vlog so if you saw that, cool, 
I worked out how to do it. birds in my videos. Well, it's actually pretty much just one bird. A crow. That'll do. That will do. And I just like using this brush. <laughs> a brush for your eyebrows. What a time to be alive. Now for another embarrassing story. This was maybe like two weeks ago or something. Um, I was in the, a lecture and it's quite a big lecture. The room is like sort of... Sorry about that. I'm sorry about those crows. You're just gonna have to deal with them. The lecture theatre was like on a slant and I was sat at the back. It was like 1pm and I was a bit hungry and I planned to eat this apple at this time. So I take the apple out and I put it on my little table next to my chair and the lecture has started so it's very quiet and everyone's paying attention and then all of a sudden I accidentally knocked my apple off the table and that's not even the worst bit. It started rolling <laughs> and it rolled like all the way down the slant. Like, past everyone's chairs towards the front and I'm like oh my goodness the lecture is on and my apple is gonna go and roll onto the lecturer's feet and that's just gonna be so embarrassing so I quickly got up and I just thought I need to catch this apple I can't let it go to the front so I got up and I ran after the apple in the middle of the lecture it was so embarrassing so I like ran down like maybe halfway and caught the apple. Luckily it didn't make it all the way but uh, that was not fun and I was just cringing so much. Yeah, that was not a good idea from me. I learnt my lesson. I'm going to take a banana next time. The next thing I use is probably one of my most fanciest makeup things. Urban Decay Smoky Palette. Um, basically I use this Oh look, there you are. And I just put that on my eyelids. On top of that, do a winged eyeliner with the Kat Von D tattoo liner. This is where it's gonna go wrong. I have to stretch my eye in a weird way, so don't judge me. Would it be a truthful experience if we don't get that happening? Every time. Well, they don't match, but in a realistic world, when do they, to be honest? So, this is realism here. The next thing that I do is mascara. This isn't going great, really. This is not going great. The last funny story happened sometime early this year. I was on a field trip for marine ecology and we were studying the mud flat. We went out in the dark into this mud and we had to like analyse the surface, look for any footprints, any animals, any algae and how much water is on it and everything like that. So it's dark and we're all in a circle and the head tor we have head torches on which by the way mine broke in the first second so I couldn't see a thing. 
So everyone's head torch is just shining on this piece of mud like this is where we're collecting our scientific data from. Whatever you do, nobody stand on it because that's just going to mess up the results. And we're all leaning over like, oh yeah. Next thing you know, my bag's in it. It fell off my back. I had a rucksack on but I had one, only one shoulder on for some re reason and I leaned over to inspect this mud and everyone's like, be careful, don't mess up the mud, don't mess the surface up. And then all of a sudden, in drops my bag, right in the spotlight, in the middle of the circle, and everyone's staring at it, and I'm just there like, yeah, that's my bag. Sorry everyone, I have just totally messed up the whole scientific data. <laughs> uh, yeah, oops, that was kind of embarrassing. Classic, a classic thing to happen to me. And the last thing I'm thinking, I'm just going to put this on because YOLO. Oh, the Rimmel Ru. Oh, what? Rosetto. No. Mayfair Red Lady, that's what it's called. I was reading the French something. My camera's about to die. Oh my goodness, can I finish this in time? <laughs> the battery is flashing, so this is the finished look. My everyday look, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, send me a comment because I always love chatting to you, and subscribe if you feel like it because that would be great. Hope you had a wonderful, wonderful week and I'll speak to you next week. Bye.